Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix bug reporting crash with the game on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to update the BIOS. Now this has worked for many players, so it might work for you. So go to your system manufacturer website. So if you have a Dell computer, go to Dell website. If you have Lenovo, go to Lenovo. Whichever brand you have, go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number, make sure that you select your computer and select the right operating system. and find the latest BIOS so you can find the BIOS once you find the latest BIOS you can download it you can install it now in case of laptop when you install the latest BIOS make sure battery in your computer is more than 10 percent and the AC adapter is connected to the computer during the BIOS update your system will restart do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system BIOS after the BIOS update log into the computer and then launch the game still not working the next step is to update the game so you can go to steam if there is any update you can update it if you don't see update you can restart steam exit and then restart steam and then update your game and then check now the next step is to perform a clean installation of your latest graphic card driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so to perform a clean installation go to nvidia website and then select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system so if you have windows 11 select windows 11 if you have windows 10 select windows 10 and then click on find and once you click on find you will see this page now here you will find the latest geforce game ready driver now click on view and then once you click on view you will see the download option click on download and let the download complete now once the download is complete run the exe file now once you run the exe file you will see this screen click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here by default express would be selected select custom and then click on next and then you will see this screen now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete once the installation is complete restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game now amd card users can go to amd website select your graphic card install the latest graphic card driver restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to install this geforce hotfix display driver versions 576.66 you can search this in google and then you can go to nvidia web website once you go to nvidia website here you can see uh, this hotfix addresses the following that is dune awakening may crash during gameplay so install this hotfix 576.66 you can click to download the geforce driver and once the download is complete you can click on this file run the exe file but when you install it make sure that you put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box click on graphic settings over here and then click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder so in my case the game is installed in this location so go to the game installation folder open dune sandbox folder binaries win64 select this exe file and then click on add once the game is added now scroll down and find the game in the list once you find the game click on the game select high performance you will see your graphic card over here and then launch the game and then check you can do the same thing with the first exe file click on add desktop app and then go back and then select the first exe file and do the same thing uh, you can find the game in the list once you find the game click on the game and then again select high performance and then launch the game next step is to if you are able to launch the game if you're not able to launch the game uh, then you can skip this step but if you are able to launch the game do not skip the first cutscene uh, this may help you to avoid the crash now the next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder for this make a right on the game select manage click on browse local files you can just open this dune sandbox binaries win64 make a double click on this exe file on this exe file just make a double click and then launch the game if that does not work you can go to properties go to this tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game and then check if that does not work 
this time you can put a check over here select windows 8 hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check it's still not working select windows 7 over here hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check it's still not working put a check on disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check now still not working so when you put a check on all these boxes still not working you can uncheck these boxes and then hit apply click on ok and then follow the next step now the next step is to try power save mode now for this you can type in control panel in windows search box go to control panel click on hardware and sound and then click on power options now over here you might see power saver options so if you see power saver select power saver and then you can launch the game you can even go for balanced but for many players selecting power saver has worked so you can try this and then check still not working the next step is to install intel's extreme tuning utility software and lower down performance score ratio to 56 maybe 55 or 54 so you can uh, if you don't have it you can install it from the intel website if you already have it then you can install it from here if you already have it you can launch intel tuning extreme tuning utility software and then you can go to over here uh, once you launch the software uh, you can go to performance score ratio and if this is set to like 58 or 57 maybe you can try 56 55x or maybe 54x and then apply the apply the changes and then check still not working the next step is to try dx11 or dx12 in the launch option so you can make a right click on the game select properties in the launch option you can type in dash dx11 now you can launch the game and then check if that does not work you can even try dx d dash dx12 and then launch the game and then check still not working you can remove this and then follow the next step now the next step is to uninstall and reinstall battle Eye. now for this you can make a right click on the game select manage click on browse local files now open Dune Sandbox Binaries Win64 Open Battle Eye and then over here you will see Uninstall Battle Eye make a right click click on Run as Administrator click on Yes to allow click on Yes Uninstall now you can install Battle Eye make a right click click on Run as Administrator click on Yes to allow and once this is done now you can launch the game and then check still not working then you can uninstall Battle Eye once again make a right click run as administrator click on yes click on yes uninstall now do not install the battle life from here just launch the game during the launch it will install battle life so just launch the game and once the launcher is open you can click on launch over here and here you can see it will be giving an option to install it click on yes So over here you can see installing battle eye battle eye service has been successfully installed updating and then it will launch the game and then you can check so the game is launching now let me close the game for now now still not working in that case the next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus like avast not on bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now if you're using windows security in that case you can open windows settings go to privacy and security and then click on windows security and then click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it and then click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app click on browse all apps now go to the game installation folder in my case the game is installed in this location so open the game folder and then select this exe file click on open click on add an allowed app once again browse all apps open dune sandbox binaries win64 select this exe file click on open again click on add in load app browser apps you can select this exe file as well open and then again browser apps you can open battle eye select all the exe file again click on add in load app browser apps and then go back and then again back open the launcher folder you can select the launcher as well now type in control panel in windows search box go to control panel system and security windows defender firewall 
click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings allow another app click on browse and then again go to the game installation folder open the game folder select the game exe file click on open click on add once it is added again click on allow another app click on browse and then open given sandbox binaries win64 select this exe file click on open click on add in my case this is already added again click on allow another app click on browse select this one open add allow browse and then go back open battle eye select this open add allow another app click on browse add the launcher as well and once the game is added over here in my case it is already added once the game is added now you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to reset game settings in the launcher so when you launch the game when the launcher opens over here you can see the more option click on more option and then you will see the reset game settings it will reset all the saved settings so if you agree click on reset game settings and once this is done now you can launch the game in the launcher still not working the next step is to delete the config folder all the saved settings will be lost so if you agree uh, in that case uh, you can open file explorer go to this pc open c drive open users folder open your username folder open app data folder if you don't see app data at the top click on view select show put a check on hidden items and then open app data open the local folder here you can see dune sandbox folder saved folder config folder so if you want to create a backup you can just copy this folder and maybe paste to the desktop once you have a backup over here now you can delete this config folder and then you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to rename the save game files now when you rename the save game files you will lose all the game progress you have to start everything from scratch so you can create a backup first so you can go to the same location go back make a right click on dune sandbox copy this you can paste it to the desktop once you have a backup created now you can go to yeah you can rename this whatever you want so rename the save game files and then you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to verify the game file this is important so make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrated game files once the verification is 100% complete launch the game and then check still not working the next step is next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in window search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total RAM this is my total RAM in megabyte now 1.5 into total RAM total RAM that is into 1.5
So in my case, initial size is 24576. 24576. And maximum size is 3 into total RAM. Now total RAM in my case, that is 16 gigabyte. I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024. I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte. Now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3. That is 49152. 49152. 491152. Now click on set over here. Then click on OK. OK. Apply. OK. OK. Now restart computer. Make sure that you restart the computer after this. Now the next step is to do not overclock. If you have overclocked your computer, set it to default. Close all the overclocking application. Like if you have MSI afterburner, revert tuner, or any kind of overclocking application running, you can just close it and then launch the game. Disable Steam overlay. Now for this, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, and then in general option, turn off the option which says enable the Steam overlay while in game. Turn this off and then check if you have any other overlay application running like if you have discord running go to discord settings turn off overlay if you have nvidia app running go to nvidia app settings turn off nvidia overlay close all the overlay application and then launch the game next step is to install visual c plus plus file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website scroll down here you can see visual studio files you have to download this x86 and x64 so download this x86 file download it download both the file x86 and x64 and then you can run both the exe file if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install download both the files x86 and x64 run both the exe file if you see repair click on repair click on install if you see install click on yes to allow and let the installation complete now once both are installed and then you can restart it again. And after the system restart, launch the game and then check. Still not working. Next step is to unplug all the external devices. So if you have hotas, wheel, pedals, any kind of USB adapter connected, disconnect it and then launch the game. If you have any extra controller connected to the computer, disconnect extra controller. Sometimes we have extra dongle connected, disconnected. Disconnect multiple monitor. Try launching the game on single monitor. If you have any kind of third party services, or application running close it if you have undervolted your computer remove the undervolt and then launch the game the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive so if nothing is working you can just make a right click on the game manage uninstall now after the uninstall go to the game installation folder delete the game folder and then restart your computer and then install the game to c drive so if the game is installed to any external drive like d drive or e drive try to install the game to c drive and then check if the game is already installed to c drive then try to install the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.